Yes, Rob, I got, I got one. Okay. Um, when we say Rukat Hamazon, um, and a, a knife on the table, yes. Mm -hmm. Can you explain the reasoning behind that? Oh yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> so it says uh, not, not, not to have a knife. So it's, uh, that's uh, that's uh, halacha, right? So it says um, I don't remember when it was. Maybe in Talmudic times, it was one man. He was very passionate, right? And when, when he got to, to the piece of uh, where it says uh, about rebuilding Yerushalayim, that uh, Yerushalayim is in ruins, and like he was, so he got so emotional, so he took a knife and stuck it in, 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 into himself and died. So after that, I would say, just say, no knives on the table. So I, I hope that I uh, wish that we can we be able to, to keep attention to, to the words and don't skip the words, but. Uh, uh, we are not on that level to kill ourselves because of the loss of Yerushalayim, but Halacha uh, stays, so you have to cover, you, you, can, you should take the knives off the table or you can cover them. So if you put the napkins on top of that, so it's also covered like it's not there, if you don't see it. Or it's a, if it's a plastic knife, it's not, it's not considered to be a knife, right? so you can leave there. But, uh, but um, uh, it, it is very uh, preferable. Um, to clean your table before you say Berchas Hamazon. So from all the dirty door, door dishes, so because it's like a, it, it is mitzvah that you you're saying thanks to Hashem. And uh, um, yeah, you you saying thank, thanks to Hashem, and uh, it, it should be like nice. Of course, there could be crumbs here and there. Like you you don't have to clean completely, but at, it, at least make it some. Somewhat presentable. Don't don't. I mean, you are not going to uh, eat from from these uh, dirty dishes. You finish. So t t t take them off uh, off the table. And uh, yeah, and I I just want to mention one thing. So I I, uh, I told some someone to, to, so today, and he was so surprised, very interesting. I knew this halacha, but I did not know the, the source. But today I saw it, and I showed to to one of my students. Right, so Mishnah Brura says uh, we have uh, in, in a fourth halacha, which is uh, uh, what is it? No, no, no. In, in a fourth part, right? So we, we have three, three parts, which is biblical. Then then uh, then you have after that after uh, rebuilding Yerushalayim, you said Amen, and now say you say why do you say the Amen? Right? You 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 say even you you you. You pray by, by yourself, you say Amen. So it's not allowed to answer Amen to you, it's all blessing. So in this case, it's allowed in order to show everybody. So this is where a biblical part stops and starts and continues with rabbinical. Okay, that, that's what it says. Okay, no problem. And um, and after that, uh, there is a part where it says, Harachamon. Uh, Harachamon is a merciful one. Merciful one is this merciful one that's. Like, I don't know, I don't remember, the seven sentences start, I think. It starts with the merciful one. So after each one, uh, so if, if if somebody is reading out loud, for, for for example, somebody ate and I did not eat, let's say, right? Or, 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 or he is benching and he wants to include me, or I, I want to include him. So the, the person who is listening should answer Amen after all of this... Uh, uh, Merciful uh, statement that it starts with a merciful one, so it's proper. It's not obligation, but it's uh, proper to do that. I mean, if uh, if we, no nobody answered, it uh, it's not like <laughs> they, they did not do the the, 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 the mitzvah. It's still the, the mitzvah, but in the best possible way to answer a man after all these harachamons, meaning uh, mer merciful ones. Okay.